Um, <laughs> Patrick, <laughs> if you're open to unwrap an air fryer on Christmas Day, uh, Juliet Sears uh, helping you get ahead before delicious recipes you can make over the festive period. And it looks absolutely insane and it's hard not to tuck in right now. I know, I've got a plethora of feast for you here. Like, it's an air fryer buffet, so we're going to taste as we go. Right. So first off, we're starting with a movie night idea, which is loaded nachos. Really simple. So if you want to tuck into your nachos there, Ooh. Oh. super easy. I've got um, some shop-bought tortilla chips. Oh, I broke that one. So just pile them, stack them high. Obviously, mm. we've got loads of different air fryers here for different budgets, different sizes and capacities, so you can do it whichever to fit your air fryer is fine. I like to use two types of cheeses, a bit of mozzarella and a bit of cheddar, so you get that nice stringy, mm. stretchy... Yum. Um, ..with some lovely jalapenos on there. Do you like those, there. Susie? <laughs> 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 what about you, Jason? Oh, I love them. Right? Oh, <laughs> OK. <yeah. laughs> so, they go in the air fryer, literally, four minutes. Four minutes, I tell you, you can have this amazing snack. You have to put oil on them. No, they just go in there and bake like that. Right. Because the, the chips are quite sort of like sort of oily and they're crispy anyway. So, here we go. Let's see if I can... I'm trying to do it from the other way around, but there you go. Fully you know, four minutes. Yeah. I had these the other day in my oven and it took 20, so... Really, really nice, fast snack. OK, on My 15-year-old bungs him in the microwave. It's carnage afterwards, so good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I hope you're watching. <laughs> so, next up, I've got my um, Hasselback potatoes. Oh, I love Ooh. a Hasselback. And they're really on trend, the old Hasselbacks, this year. And these are so lovely. So, if you're having some Twixmas gatherings, they're nice as a little kind of canapé or for a mm. side. So, we've got garlic butter on these. So, I'm actually using tinned potatoes. So, there's, like, less than, less than 40p, this was. And um, what you need to do is cut them into some slits. So use a chopstick to stop you going all the way down and just literally go like this. So you get the nice slits. And what's going to happen there is that when you paint on the garlic butter, all the garlic butter goes inside the potato. Oh. It's all crunchy and crispy. So literally I've got some garlic butter here with some um, butter oil, a bit of parsley, loads of garlic. Brush that on and then you want to bake them in the air fryer for about sort of 25 to 30 minutes. And then you get these delicious, crunchy, crispy aspect potatoes. They are really crunchy, yeah. I good. would have never guessed they were tinned. Yeah, exactly. No, they're tinned are better because they don't take as long to cook and it's, it's faster and it's cheaper as well. I think they work out better than when you've just used regular new potatoes. Mm. Right, onto my toasted cheese sandwich, my grilled cheese, which, oh, Ooh. I love it. I'm so so excited about um, this. what you want to do with this, you can use any bread you like, any cheese. If you've got some leftover cheese, board cheese at Christmas, you might want to do a turkey and brie sandwich, whatever you want to do. But I've got two types of cheeses in here, and my trick with the toasted cheese sandwich is to use a bit of Dijon mustard. Always. Yeah, yeah. The king of mustards. Oh, yeah. It just gives it that extra bit of, oh, yeah. doesn't yeah, it, like yeah. savoury punch. So just brush that on. So, so, so you're going in. You're I'm going, going in. in, I'm going to go in. Right. Yeah, have a taste. And it, in the air fry, it goes so crispy. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> you don't need to use as much butter if you're like for a lot of the time when you get the gourmet sort of sourdough um, toasted cheese sandwiches, they've been fried and they? loads of butter. So just a thin spreading oh, of butter. Oh. What do you think? It's amazing, and I know Patrick will put a dent in that right now. The state of them. <laughs> you need to get Patrick a few of these. I know he needs to he needs to load up on carbs. I think before yeah. it gets <laughs> gets messy. So that's just going to literally good. go in this yeah. one straight in the basket. <laughs> And oh, that's good. close the door. And with, with the air fryer grilled cheese, it is a good idea to flip it over halfway so it like, gets a nice coating all the way around. But, I mean, I prefer it in the, um, to a cheese toasting machine in the air fryer. So crispy, but it's lovely and soft in the inside. Exactly. <clears throat> How long do you go in for it? So, I, it depends, but about sort of like eight to ten minutes, I'd say, if you want it super, super crunchy, because I quite like a really crunchy cheese toasty. Um, mm. And especially if you're using something like a sourdough or a sort of like a, a denser bread, you might need a bit longer. So it depends. But if you like the trashy kind of like white bread, which I kind of also like, well, I like any bread really. Who doesn't love bread? Um, then it might not take quite as long. <clears throat> it's going to be the longest eight minutes in the world, isn't it? Just staring at that. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jeez, toasty. To be, to be ready. What you want to do is just make your nachos first. That'll be ready in four minutes. Okay. Then four minutes later, you've got your cheese toasty. Oh, strong, good. Um, right. So on to saving the sweet till last. We've got some gorgeous cinnamon French toast. <gasps> it's really good. It's so easy to make. So I'm just using some... I'm coming right over here now. Yeah, come on. Um, yeah. I've got some milk, eggs, cinnamon, a bit of sugar, not too much, and um, a bit of vanilla in there. So you just beat that together and you literally just take any bread you like, dunk it in like this. So you just get them all coated. Make sure you sort of shake off the excess. And it's so lovely. It's kind of like an alternative to having, like, waffles or pancakes. Yeah. Um, 
So I'm just going to pop that there because I've already cooked mine. This is awkward, isn't it? It's like cooking in a student oh. flat, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's a bit. Um, so then, just literally pop them into the air fryer again. You want to put a bit of baking paper, a bit of cooking spray, so they don't stick. Spray, lightly and spray. Just a little bit, and then a little bit on top as well. So you don't need to fry them in loads of butter again. And again, sort of like four to five minutes each side. Make sure you turn them halfway through. Have you got any? Help I could work my tongs. They're good. And then just serve them up when they're lovely mm. and crisp. Yum. For a nice brunch, perhaps, you know, over the Christmas holidays. Dusting of icing sugar there, look at this. And then serve it perhaps with some right. berries, some creme fraiche, and some bit of maple syrup. There oh, we go. Maple look at that. Oh, syrup. Oh, look at that, all in the air fryer. Naughty. Naughty. Yeah, I, I think out of all of them, that is my favourite. I Maybe. love a little bit of cinnamon toast. Yeah, yeah. you can't beat it, can you? Do you know my favourite thing? See that bit of cheese there, right? Sometimes when you're doing the washing up and you see that stuck to a tray and no one's looking, you go, ah, no. Yeah. You eat it. You eat it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, well Thank done. Man, it's all good. <laughs> that was mm. lovely. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Happy Thank Christmas. You. Happy Christmas. Merry mm. Christmas.